men2 consists of all of the following except so uh, if we just try to understand about the men syndrome so these are the multiple endocrine neuroplasia and these are known as the men syndrome and we have to remember two types of men syndrome men1 Although these are of four types, but uh, one and two are important. And in the uh, two as well, men two as well, you have men two A and men two B. Men two B. Now in the men one, you can remember this men one with a mnemonic that is triple P. Men two A, P P M, and men two B, P M M. This is how you can remember. Now P here stands for your pheochromocytoma P is pituitary adenoma pheochromocytoma and pancreatic tumors now in man 2a you will have the parathyroid hyperplasia that means the hyperparathyroidism then p here is pheochromocytoma and m here is medullary thyroid carcinoma thyroid carcinoma same way you have pmm here p is pheochromocytoma M here is medullary carcinoma of thyroid and again the rest M is your morphinoid body habitus morphinoid body habitus so from all this discussion we can understand that the men 2 now they have not mentioned A or B so if we just take men 2A here you have the parathyroid uh, hyperplasia that means the hyperparathyroidism then you have the pheochromocytoma that is pheochromocytoma option 2 and then you have the medullary thyroid carcinoma that is option 1 so you do not have Cushing's habitus in any of men 2a or men 2b right men 2b here right so answer is going to be the exception is going to be Cushing's habitus so I'll give you a better uh, overview of this men 1 is going to have the pituitary adenoma parathyroid hyperplasia and pancreatic tumors will be there in men 2 a there will be parathyroid hyperplasia medullary thyroid carcinoma and pheochromocytoma as we have just discussed and men 2 b has mucosal neuromas and marfanoid body habitus that can be remembered by one m another m tells you about the medullary thyroid carcinoma and p tells you the pheochromocytoma so you can remember men 1 by triple p here it is PPM and here it is PMM. So this is how you can remember the various men's syndrome. So if we go back to the question, we'll have the Cushing habitus as an exception to the features of the men 2 syndrome.